Oh, now we're back with Monty McCummer, our cultural director for the Royal Hawaiian Center, along with master couple maker Dalani Tanahi and one of her haumana, Keho Lenny Fergustrom. Keho, we're going to talk story with you, sister. Can you please share your kapa journey with our viewers? Sure. Um, uh, Kumu Dalani has um, helped me bring an appreciation for the, the art of kapa. Um, it's not an easy, by any means, um, art. and you, I have a sense of appreciation for it because so much time, you know, from going into like malama your mala with your vauke to stripping to um, actually beating it, processing fermentation, uh, it's a process. And, you know, I think about it when, when there's a, so say you buy a piece of kappa for $5,000 or whatever it is, you can understand why because all, you know, the whole mana and everything that goes into it. And um, yeah, it's funny because you have great pieces of kappa and you have some not so great. <laughs> so, and that's the one that become earrings and necklaces. <laughs> right. well, and postcards. And postcards. <laughs> wow. yeah. how, how has it, uh, you know, developed you as a person, you know, having to take the time and go gather and then go through that whole process? What has it done for you personally? Um, Honestly, I feel like um, it's life changing for me. You know, just thinking of our kupuna and how we're kind of normalizing a once practice that was um, thriving and um, being able to have bauke in my yard and trying to create kumu's process. Um, it's life changing. And I actually use it in my art, like in Lomi Lomi. I create my own pieces for. Um, uh, the kinipopo kapai, it's uh, you use the kapa and you put all your potus and in it and Got you it. can use it on, on clients. And our big thing is trying to make my kapa kuehu, <laughs> which is the, the healing one that you either use it in your family or with your clients. Um, that's the next project. Ooh. Yeah. How can people get involved? How can people be just like keho and, and, and learn this process for themselves? Just go to kapahawaii at gmail.com and then just ask me, Kumu, any classes coming up? <laughs> we have, you know, there's, at this point, we just have so many people who always, who contact me like every year, come teach this school, teach this class, teach these people, come to this place, go to this place, fly over here. So there's a lot of um, classes that are kind of, a lot of people for, for people, yeah, but right, like currently I'm teaching at UH West Oahu and then in January I'll be starting a year long class. And that, that's like the in-depth, make your tools, plant your plants. The plants you plant, you'll actually, that'll be the one you use. Because, wow. you know, when we teach class, we just show up with all the goodies. And people, you know, it's like, I didn't buy these tools from Home Depot. Right. <laughs> Somebody had to cut down a tree and carve it and make it. And, um, and the Valke doesn't grow on the side of the road. You know, we, to have really good Valke for students and for classes, um, we have to grow it that way. It you have to, to make it that way. Yeah. That way. And yeah. people don't really think about that. So in a class, they will, and we start in January because I live in Makaha, the ranch is there, and that's when we hopefully have water so the trees <laughs> get a good start. We, we tried to grow in July one time, and that was like, oh, just water every day. But, so it's a, it's a lot of things people don't really think about, but, you know, we're happy to teach. I mean, I won't be here forever, and I don't want anybody saying, oh, Kappa, it was a lost start, and then it came back. Oh, and then it was lost again because oh, nobody yeah. kept learning. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so Kumu, again, tell us that, uh, that uh, email. Is kapahawaii at gmail.com. Kapahawaii at gmail. And go right to me and 